Okay, so far we've learned how to navigate directories using CD. We know that there's a root directory, there's a home directory, and all the other directories are uh, in a directory tree. We know how to navigate them using CD, change directory. We know how to know exactly which directory we're looking from the command line by typing PWD. We also know how to make directories with MKDIR, and we also know how to list the contents of that directory with LS. Now, we know how the directory structure works and we know how to move back and forth. The other thing that I want to uh, talk about is how to manipulate files. And there's three things that we would like to do with files. We would like to A, move file, delete files that we've created, say with Word or whatever, delete files. I would like to rename files or move them from one place to the other. And I would like to remove a file, delete a file. Okay, so, for example, here I am in my English uh, homework one, and I've created a grades document, my essay, and a picture. Okay, so, in my PowerShell, I can do the exact same thing in Macintosh. This, this thing is going to work exactly the same in both Macintosh and PC. So, I can go to CD English 101, uh, homework one, I think it was and then list the contents there, right? So I'm going to go here, the same thing, English 101. Uh, where am I? Oh, I am already there. I am on English 101 homework one, so I'll just ls, ls minus l, to see it in similar format. So I have grades, my essay, and my picture, okay? So let's do one thing. Let's move my picture does not belong in this homework one. Actually, it belongs in English 101 because it's a profile picture. So one thing that I can do is move a file from one place to the other. So I will move, or I will move the grades, for example. Okay? I will move the grades from where I'm right now, which is homework one, English 101. I'm going to move the grades to English 101 because these are my grades of English 101. The command mv stands for move, and I will move grades.rtf, that's my file with grades, and I will move it to uh, one directory up, right? That's one way of doing it. Now I list the contents. Where am I? Where am I standing? I am still in homework one, so if I list the contents here, whoops, if I list the contents here, I don't see the grades anymore. If I go back one level and then I list, I will see the grades has been moved. In the same way here, and I'm going to show you this one with the file system, I'm going to move grades from homework 1 to English 101. I'm going to do the exact same thing, mv for move, the file that I want to move, grades.rtf, and where do I want to move it? Up one level. You can see now on the file system that the grades have disappeared from here and if I go to English 101 I see it right there. Okay. Another way of moving files, so I'm gonna now move the my picture. Okay. I could do this, move picture.bmp and then the, the target directory would be users uh, English 101, I mean, my home directory, English 101, right? And I want to move picture to just that path that also made the move. Now, picture is not here in, in homework one, but it's in English 101. You see that? Now, when you move a directory, what you're doing is you're changing the location, okay? But you're not just moving the file, you're moving also a lot more things. You're actually what you're saying is this file that I have in directory in homework one, for example, this file, I'm going to move it to homework two and I'm going to rename it something. Okay, and I'm going to rename it something. Right now, here I said move the picture to this directory. If I continue and give it a file name, I will also rename the file. So, for example, I'm going to go back one level, so to English 101, I will list the files. I can do this, move 
picture BMP, I'm going to put it back on homework one, homework one, homework one, but call it profile, okay, instead of picture one. What's happened now is that pictures left my English 101 directory, but if I go to homework one, I'll find a profile file, okay? It's not called pictures anymore because I, re I, um, I, um, I renamed it. In here, it's the same thing in, in, on the Macintosh, right? So, or the terminal. I'm going to see here that it's grades, homework one, homework two. I can rename them too. So I can rename grades, even in the same directory, grades.rtf, to mygrades.rtf. And if I list it, I will see this renaming right there.